In late 17th century, John Locke and Jean-Jacques Rousseau advocated the social contract theory. The scholars in Enlightenment era believed in that if people are given unlimited freedom, the society will go into chaos. Therefore, the, so the freedom should be enjoyed under the law. People will choose a sort of ruling group of people, and then people ask them uh, to keep the order in the society and make sure people enjoy the freedom. But if they fail to do so, the people have the right to cancel the contract and then elect another group of people. Basically, it denied the absolute power of king and the noble society. The ideas of Enlightenment era philosophers influenced the founding fathers of America, such as Thomas Jefferson and Benjamin Franklin. It led to the birth of the United States of America, that is, the first democratic country in the world. Later, French Revolution came and it became the example of the democratic revolution in the world. While Europeans were building democratic society for the people from the oppressive kingdom, in Korea, the Shilhak, the practical studies were progressively better to be matured and more scholars were studying. If Yu Hyeongwon was the grandfather of Shilhak, uh, then Yi Ik was the father of Shilhak. And then Chong Ya Gyeong uh, gathered all the information about the Shilhak and he made it to be a concrete subject of study. Chong wrote in one of his many books that people do not exist for the king, but king must exist for people. He, and he also said that leaders in towns and province, provinces must be chosen by people not appointed by the government. He also wrote that people are free to choose their own lives. When uh, people have to live within the limit of the class system, it was the revolutionary idea. He proposed sort of commune system in farming. A group of people owns the land together and the, when grains were harvested, they divided it up equally. Chong uh, wrote over 500 books about economy, philosophy, politics, um, governing the nation, music and medicine, you can name it. He was multi-talented and he is somewhat similar to Benjamin Franklin in the United States of America. The scholars in the earlier stage of Chirac, such as Yu, Yi, and Zhong, emphasized the agricultural reform. It is not surprising because the uh, main industry at the time was agriculture. In mid-18th century, Qing Dynasty was influenced by the Western civilization. And there are some scholars 
from Joseon Dynasty were traveling to Beijing, China, and they found out there are a lot to be learned. These scholars brought up the importance of commerce, industry, and science. These scholars were called Northern Learning Group or Bukhakpa. Hong Dae-yong was the early leader of the study group and he was a philosopher, astronomer, mathematician. They proposed that the rulers must improve people's welfare by using the new idea and new technology. They tried to promote the industrialization of the country and the development of trade and commerce. Park ji was the leading scholar of the group and he traveled to Beijing in Qing Dynasty and he saw the newspaper uh, that reported about the merchants from surrounding countries such as Vietnam and uh, other countries in Southeast Asia. This kind of trade with foreign countries caused cultural exchange and the improving the, the nation's economy. He pointed out that uh, it is very wrong that puts everything into the morality. He also said that it may be shabby, but it is very important that we always look for the practicality that can improve people's lives. Park Jae-ga worked for Jung Jo in late 18th century. He was like Adam Smith in uh, Joseon. He um, advocated currency economy. He stressed on consumption in order to improve the production. At the time, prevailing Confucius teaching is sort of blind frugality. But he said that that kind of uh, savings will hurt the economy. The people must consume in order to improve the production. That's what he emphasized. He advised the government should invite Westerners in order to uh, learn how to make firearms, how to build the walls around the castle, shipbuilding, and how to raise the silkworms. He was already talking about national economy based on the currency and that need to be built on the commerce, manual industry, agriculture by improving the production. These scholars are not much different from the economists in Europe during Enlightenment era.